Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about carbohydrates, the biomolecules, the biggest biomacromolecules, the carbohydrates. The learning objectives will be to know about the different types of biomacromolecules, to learn what are carbohydrates, to explain the properties of carbohydrates, and to know about the different types of carbohydrates like monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides. Now first, biomacromolecules. Let us have a quick recap of biomacromolecules. We know that they were large size molecules. They were polymers which were obtained by bonding of monomers. And what were these monomers? These monomers were biomicromolecules. We learned that there are four major types of biomacromolecules. Let us now have a look at the monomers which form these biomacromolecules. So first, carbohydrates. The carbohydrates are formed by monomers called monosaccharides. And the examples are sugar, starch, etc. Then proteins. The biomicromolecules or the monomers for proteins are amino acids. Similarly for lipids, the biomicromolecules are fatty acids and glycerol. And for nucleic acids, the monomers are nucleotides. And the examples are DNA and RNA. Now, carbohydrates. What are carbohydrates? The carbohydrates are hydrates of carbon, which means when they are heated, they give out water as well as carbon. So, they are known as hydrates of carbon. Now, they are also called as saccharides. What are saccharides? The word saccharide comes from saccharon, which is a Greek word, which means sugar or something sweet. So, they are also called sugars. Now, these carbohydrates, their general formula is CMH2ON. Now, this value of M and N, it can be different also and same also. In case of monomers, so in case of monomers, that is monosaccharides, the M will be equal to N. Alright? And as the size of carbohydrates increase, it will be different. So, the general formula or the skeletal formula for the carbohydrates becomes CH2O. So, this becomes the skeletal formula. As we can see clearly in this formula, the ratio of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen is generally 1 is to 2 is to 1. But one thing which you have to note is that hydrogen and oxygen ratio will always be 2 is to 1, but the ratio of carbon to oxygen may vary. Now, technically speaking, they are polyhydroxyaldehydes or ketones. Now, what does this mean? Break the word poly. Poly means many. Hydroxyl. Hydroxyl means OH group. Hydroxyl means OH group. So, they have many hydroxyl groups and aldehyde group. This is the aldehyde functional group as well as a ketone group. So, they are called polyhydroxyaldehydes or ketones. Now, we all know that carbohydrates are energy providing as well as they form the components of structure. Structure means they form components of cell wall like cellulose, like chitin in fungi and as well as peptidoglycan in bacteria. Now, let us move forward. Try to understand carbohydrates more. Now, how are they classified? Let us have a look at classification of carbohydrates. First, monosaccharides. When a single sugar unit is present, it is known as monosaccharide. Now, if two sugar units are joined together, it is known as disaccharide. The bonding plays a crucial role. And what is that bond called? That bond is called glycosidic bond. We will discuss in detail about glycosidic bond in future videos. 
the oligosaccharides which have 2 to 10 sugar units join together and finally the big size polysaccharides these polysaccharides they have 100 to some 10,000 sugars which are joined together by glycosidic bond only. So let us thanks carbohydrates. It is because of these carbohydrates that we are getting energy. For that matter, all the living organisms are getting energy. So to wrap up, we can say that carbohydrates are hydrates of carbon, which have carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. They are organic compounds which are polyhydroxy aldehydes as well as ketones. And on the basis of sugar units, they can be classified into three types. Monosaccharides, one sugar unit, disaccharides, two sugar unit and polygosaccharides which have many sugar units. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.